Well, it's not every day you drive into work with the thought in your head that you're going to meet possibly the galaxy's most famous bounty hunter. Now, if you don't know who I'm talking about, then you probably should be watching this anyway. But if you do, then you'll know I'm talking about Mr. Jeremy Bullock, Boba Fett himself. Thank How are much. you, Jeremy? Very well. Very well indeed. You're still being recognized as Boba Fett. <laughs> I just tried to frighten you, but it hasn't done a thing. Um, it, it, it is incredible that it's just gone on and on and on. People said, could you help us here? You're Boba Fett, aren't you? I said, well, yeah, just as a fun thing. No, but my son is, is only six years old and he loves the character. And I, and I just, could you possibly help with being Boba Fett for ten minutes or something? <laughs> so it's, it's something that's gone on for, for a lot of my life. I've been acting since I was twelve. And uh, still, it comes back to dear old Boba. Because you are fantastically busy. You, oh, seem to, you seem to be cropping up at virtually every Comic-Con well, that I look at. Well, it seems, you know, they said, would you make Glasgow because I can't get there? And I'm thinking, what am I doing? I can't do this all the time. There's the grandchildren. But we've, my wife and I have travelled a great deal. been asked to go to Denmark and... Actually, Russia, we were asked to go, but perhaps it's not too early <laughs> to, to go to that one. Um, but it's incredible. It's a, a mixture of different people, and you meet up with some other actors. It's an incredible thing that Star Wars has, hasn't has stopped. Mm. I thought that would be the end of the, the other episodes. But it's incredible. There's something about it that they... The crowd want they want to know. Hey, you, you, you're playing Boba Fett again. I said no, not this morning. I'm just going for a cup of tea. <laughs> and you, you don't hope that someone says, um, well, "Look, we can't do this yet. Could you keep, please keep quiet?" <laughs> it's uh, it's something that will always be with me. No. Despite Boba Fett's lack of lines in both The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and lack of appearances, really. He's such a popular character mm. with the fans. Now, why do you think that is? Well, he's, he's sort of left on his own in a way. He's just always just in the background. And, and it was most of the, the danger from Boba Fett. It's just he doesn't do anything. <laughs> he stands, just stands there quietly just menacing in the background. Menacing, looking up. But you can't see what I'm doing under the mask <laughs> or the helmet. But the the... Costume is fantastic. Mm. It's just standing around and occasionally just <laughs> drifting around. Now, you must have a lot of incredible memories from actually filming the two films. Does anything spring to mind? Yeah, um, I think Jabba the Hutt. I remember the first time I went next to Stanley to Jabba the Hutt. And I remember just holding the hand like this and looking at him. I don't know why, but suddenly it sort of struck a note mm. with character Jabba, Jabba the Hutt. Now, Boba Fett's iconic costume, we can see it here, actually. Absolutely incredible. But what was it like to wear? Unbearable. Unbearable. <laughs> as simple as that. But the thing is, but you still have to get in the costume, you mm. still have to work. And I remember just saying, it's so hot. The bits and pieces around the knee, I had these plates around my knees to make me look good, really, but also to protect your knees. Mm. And, and it just ripped the skin apart. And <laughs> oh, But don't complain. I was talking to myself. I remember I said, just Bullock, don't complain. Just go smiling in the morning. And then later on, as it gets really nasty, we'll just put a little bit of ointment on. But it was awful. Mm. Uh, not Could, nice. But you'd have to get on with it. Could you actually see anything out of the helmet, really? <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not a, there's this piece here, plastic it was, and blue and black. So they tested out little bits and pieces, and you have this T shape, and then you don't take it off, it's li linked into the helmet. Mm. But God, that was heavy as well. I mean, it was an uncomfortable costume, but lots of people get bad costumes and they don't ever fit for the whole series mm. but it was quite good to be able to just do this occasionally <laughs> <sighs> just make sure people see how what 
awful things are happening to me. But it, it was a good costume. Mm. Uh, of course, there's a jetpack. You've, you've got that. Mm. I've never, never used it. <laughs> I, th I think it's one of the better costumes. Yeah, it's a, it's a good costume. Definitely, I think. I think you. There's, there's the, the knee pads. It's something you'd have playing cricket, probably. <laughs> but all this is terrific. And the cloak I liked as well, mm. just dropping over your shoulder. Now, the Star Wars universe of films is expanding mm. at massive rates, um, and Han Solo has now got his own solo film. Yes. Do you think Boba Fett should get his own film? It would be lovely to be able to say, is the Boba film ready to go yet? Just, you know, <laughs> but no, you, you wait and see. I think it's gradually moving to the next lot of films. Um, so I, I don't think you'll see him. You'll hear about him, mm. I'm sure, but not see him. Uh, do you think he survived the Sarlacc pit? Can't answer that question. <laughs> no, 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 I think he would. Yes, mm. I, I think he has to. He can get out of this. They've made pictures of him and bits and pieces of him doing this, going through the sala, mm. bit, getting back. So you never know. <laughs> It'd be nice to be invited along to say, "No, you need to." That's it. You need to do the now. I can be wardrobe supervisor, mm. and <laughs> here we go again. Now, you've been here today signing a few pieces of memorabilia for mm. us. Now, a lot, over the years, you must have amassed quite a few bits and pieces yourself. Have you got a favorite piece? Um, I've got a pair of slippers, which are green, like Boba Fett. They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the funniest thing I've seen. Um, yeah, so I've kept those. Uh, thing. But people like yourself mm. have said, and I understand you've got lots of stuff, you know, from, but actually I haven't. I've, there's some that I think will I be able to get that later at the end of the day as a um, Boba Fett and his chums playing billiards and things like that it's just something <laughs> stupid yeah. so I haven't got as many as I want to and maybe there's still a chance to get get up to about 20 different bits mm. the grandchildren are already saying granddad can I use this You know, <laughs> can I be Boba Fett and she puts it on her head and practices being boba so but it's not as big as people think well jeremy thank you so much pleasure for popping yeah. in to see us today thanks, it's great to meet you thanks a lot thank you